Maker, look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. The hell was lucky. If I hadn't been saved by Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. You should come with use. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? I want peace. I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. Of all the things in the world, a demon who wears someone's face, I imagine it makes trusting others risky. Trust is important. Without trust, how would we build alliances or friendships? It's easy to speak well of trust when yours has never been misplaced. Talk about the Wardens. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. What do Wardens do? The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we kill so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? We find that odd. The blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> For the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Yes? I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound all easy. Marcher, then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many Wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. What did you do before you became a Warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. At your service. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor. But wars are won by men, soldiers. Avoiding war altogether would be ideal. <laughs> Try.
true enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men, they're passionate, devoted. You inspire them, build on that foundation, and you will have an army that makes nations tremble. You must have some feelings about our friends. Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His descriptions of me are colorful, to say the least. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. Leliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. Does Leliana frighten you? Has she said anything to you? No, she hasn't said anything. I'd just rather not offend her. I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. Josephine's lovely, and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. What do you think about all this trouble between the Mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. You must have some feelings about our friends. Cole's dangerous, unpredictable. We aren't even sure what he is. Don't know what he might do. I wouldn't turn my back on him. Don't play Diamond back with Solus. You've been warned. Taught him the game last night. He turned around and beat me at it. Lost everything. Had to walk back to my quarters with only a bucket for my bit. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition because she knows it will bring her power. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. Cole's dangerous, unpredictable. We aren't even sure what he is. Don't know what he might do. I wouldn't turn my back on him. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants, and doesn't even care. 